Hello, how are you? I am Miss Dia and I am here at the Strong Museum in the Butterfly Garden, the Dancing Wings Butterfly Garden, and we are doing Storytime Club. Today we're talking about reptiles. So we're going to read some books about reptiles, do a couple of reptile activities, and then meet some reptiles right here in the garden. So the first book we're reading is Chameleon by Joy Cowley. The photographs are by Nick Bishop. The chameleon rests in his tree. His skin has peaceful colors. He wakes up hungry for a juicy insect. He looks this way and that way. No food, no food. He must find a new tree home. Slowly, the chameleon climbs down the tree, step by step by step. He stops. Is something hiding there? A gecko. The gecko looks scary, but it will not hurt the chameleon. Don't worry, friends. Step by step, the chameleon creeps to the ground. He looks this way and that way, watching for danger. What is this? It is a tiny chameleon that is not dangerous. <gasps> what is that? It is a tiny frog. The frog will not harm him either. <gasps> oh, let's see. Something hangs from a low branch. Suddenly it jumps. Another gecko. Did you know geckos are reptiles too? The gecko will not hurt the chameleon. The chameleon moves on. What's this? What is that, friends? A scorpion. Watch out, chameleon. The scorpion stinger is poisonous. Carefully, the chameleon creeps past. Can you creep, friends? Creep past that scorpion? At last, the chameleon finds a new tree. He is safe again. He climbs up slowly, step by step by step. Let's see what he finds there. <gasps> Is there food in the tree? Yes! The chameleon sees a big caterpillar. Look at that for a zap! Is that how you eat your food? <laughs> chew, chew, gulp. Something is watching. Another chameleon lives in this tree. Her skin is dark with angry colors. Go away! But the chameleon greets her with bright colors. She sees that he is friendly. She welcomes him with pale colors. See those pale colors? Two chameleon friends have happy colors. The end. All right, so first, our first activity we're going to do is some reptile play. So I have some different habitats and different reptiles. So I have some crocodiles, alligators. We have turtles that can swim. And we have some lizards here and snakes. So we have all sorts, of, I have some water. What do we think goes in the water, friends? Do you think our turtles go in the water? Yeah, let's put them in there. What about snakes? Some snakes can go in the water, but Let's see about, what do you think our alligator, they can go in the water. So we also have some sand here, friends. And our reptile friends live in the sandy places like lizards and your snakes, and you can play with them in your sandy area. And we also have this nice jungle behind us. So if you have a jungle outside, maybe you can take some of your reptile friends and they can live in the jungle and maybe climb up the trees. Let's see if we can hang from the plants and hang from your plants like a snake would, and even some of our sticky-footed lizard friends can climb up there as well. All right. Are you ready to read the next book? The next book is called There's an Alligator Under My Bed, and this is written and illustrated by Mercer Mayer. There used to be an alligator under my bed. 
When it was time to go to sleep, I had to be very careful. Do you see how they had to get in bed? Because I knew he was there. There he is. But whenever I looked, he hid or something. So I'd call mom and dad. Can you call for mom and dad? Mom, dad. But they never saw it. It was up to me. I just had to do something about that alligator. So I went to the kitchen to get some alligator bait. I filled a paper bag full of things alligators like to eat. Let's see what he gets. I put a peanut butter sandwich, some fruit, and the last piece of pie in the garage. Do those sound like foods alligators would like to eat? Maybe. I put cookies down the hall. I left fresh vegetables on the stairs. I put soda and some candy next to my bed. Then I watched and I waited. What do you think? Will it work? <gasps> sure enough, out he came to get something to eat. Then I hid in the hall closet. I followed him down the stairs. I followed him down the hall. Oh, he's eating the cookies. When he crawled into the garage, I slammed and locked the door. Woohoo! Then I went to bed. There wasn't even any mess to clean up. Now that there is an alligator in the garage, I wonder if my dad will have any trouble getting in his car tomorrow morning. What do you think, friends? <laughs> All right, so next we're going to do, this is an activity you can do at home. So did you see how that alligator kind of crept down the stairs and crawled down the stairs? We're going to do something called a reptile obstacle course, and you have to use your imaginations for this. So you're going to be in your house and you're going to change from one type of reptile to another. So let's start out, let's see. We're gonna start out as an alligator. So we're gonna, we're gonna creepy creep on the floor and you kind of go like this. And then what can we turn into next? Let's see, <gasps> ooh, maybe a lizard, like a gecko. And they're kind of sticky, so you can stick your hands and climb onto the couch. Maybe a little bit up the wall, probably not too far, but a little bit. And then while we're up there, we'll turn into another climbing reptile, which is a snake. So we're gonna use all the muscles in our body and we're gonna climb back down onto the ground. We maybe slither around a little. And then we'll turn into our turtle friend and we'll sort of swim away. Or you can be more of a tortoise where you kind of walk like this on the ground. So have fun crawling around your house like different types of reptiles. All right, we have one more book we're going to read. And this is called A Color of His Own by Leo Leone. Parrots are green, goldfish are red, elephants are gray, pigs are pink. All animals have colors of their own, except for chameleons. They change color wherever they go. On lemons, they are yellow. In the heather, they are purple. And on the tiger, they are striped like tigers. One day, a chameleon who was sitting on a tiger's tail said to himself, if I remain on a leaf, I shall be green forever. And I so, and so I too will have a color of my own. Do you think that's going to happen? Do leaves stay the same color? Let's find out. With this thought, he cheerfully climbed onto the greenest leaf. But in autumn, the leaf turned yellow, and so did the chameleon. Later, the leaf turned red, and the chameleon too turned red. And then the winter winds blew the leaf from the branch and with it, the chameleon. The chameleon was black in the long winter night. 
But when spring came, he walked out into the green grass, and there he met another chameleon. He told his sad story. We won't ever have a color of our own. I'm afraid not, said the other chameleon, who was older and wiser. But, he added, why don't we stay together? We will still change color wherever we go, but you and I will always be alike. And so they remained side by side. They were green together and purple and yellow and red with white polka dots. And they lived happily ever after. The end. All right, friends, so now I'm gonna change it over to Miss Anna and she will introduce us to a couple of reptiles we have here at the museum. Hi, Miss Dia talked about chameleons and we have a chameleon here of our own. This is Play-Doh and he is our chameleon. Every day I come in and take care of him. He likes to be nice and humid so we keep him really warm and wet here in the garden. And every single day he likes to eat a whole bunch of bugs. Do you like to eat bugs? I don't like to eat bugs, but he does. He'll stick out his great big long tongue. It may be twice as long as his body and he'll go shoot and he'll grab a cricket or a worm right off a branch and crunch, 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 eat it right down. He can change all sorts of colors when he wants to. Sometimes he's more green, sometimes he's more red or blue or white, but he's a very, very colorful animal and very good at climbing. You can see he has a prehensile tail, just like a monkey. And he can wrap that tail around my hand just like it's a branch. He has feet that are really, really good at gripping and holding on tightly to all those branches. And his eyes can move different directions at the same time. I can only move my eyes the same way, but he can look left and right at the same time. Can you do that? I can't. He's a really, really neat animal and a really, really cool reptile. Thanks so much for letting me talk a bit about our chameleon.